Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Kim, a fairly average mum, and today I've got an Aldi haul, which is the first one I've done in ages. <laughs> so let's get cracking. Oh yeah, I forgot Aldi were even a thing, if I'm honest. Right, <laughs> okay. So the other day, right, normally when I go out, I go that way, right, um, and go to the local town or the lo well, the both cities. I had to go to Bradford or Leeds, let's be honest about it. But it's all in that direction, right? The other day I had to go um, in that direction and ended up finding a little, okay, Right, and um, I haven't been to Lidl. I'm planning to go to Lidl, but I've done Aldi and Lidl hauls right ages ago when I used to live in York. But um, I bet since I've been here, since I've been back to my hometown and things, I haven't been to either of them. So when I started thinking about Lidl's, I thought, Aldi's a long road, you know, but it is sort of out of the way of my normal route around and everything. But I thought, you know what? I need a week shop. Oh, more than a week's shop. I'm off to Aldi's, right? So, um, today I had an appointment and then I thought, right, today's my day, I'm off to the Aldi. So, I've been, I've got more than a week's food. It might be a fortnight, three weeks' food. I've spent 40 quid, there's only me. Um, so, I'll show you what I got anyway. Right, now all this food is for um, a plant-based, gluten-free um diet right i have got more than food i bought lovely candles and all sorts of stuff but i'll start with my food anyway <coughs> this is my first bag i didn't take any bags with me either so i've got these two massive bags now okay better show you me frozen first because it's been frosty got myself some of these petit pois right they are cheaper ones in the big peas but i like the little ones i think if you're gonna have peas have the little ones the nicer sweeter can't remember the price of any of these, but I've got a receipt, so I'll put them all on screen. So, yeah, how many did you get in it? Where's my gigs? I'll find my gigs in a minute. Okay, when I put this back down, 700 grams in that. They were expensive. I think they were about 80p. P. See what I did then? Right, okay. Got those. I'm just slinging them all on the floor. I have got more frozen. I'll come across them as I'm going. Right, bought myself four jackets. Right, these weren't on the, um, you know, they have that, I don't know if you've been at Wildy, but they have those six things that are in fruit and veg and stuff that are cheap or they're all on offers and stuff. This wasn't in them, but they were still quite good value. Now, every so often I do like a jacket spud, so just bought myself four. They last ages, don't they? I don't care if they get shoots on them, I'll cut them off and still eat them. But, um, but I try not to buy the big bags so much because I don't eat them. So, and they go to waste. I don't like wasting food. So anyway, so that's my four spuds. Not expensive. Then because I absolutely love iceberg lettuce, I bought myself two. But I seem to have got one massive one and one small one. I wasn't really looking at them. I just sort of picked these up. They weren't expensive. Nothing was. Right, but I love iceberg lettuce. Love it with all sorts of things. Sometimes, when, last, like last night, I made myself a rice dish and just add it with lettuce. So I shredded up some lettuce and then add this ricey thing that I've made, sort of a curried rice. Um, and it was lovely, proper nice. So anyway, got myself two of those. Everything's bouncing because my floor's bouncing. Got myself a cucumber. They had organic ones, didn't care about that. Just bought myself one cucumber. I've still got some left. I've still got half of another one that I got, but they were only cheap, that. That's gonna be my saying of today. We're only cheap. Bought myself some beetroot, just cooked beetroot. I can't get the pickled beetroot in jars because it, they pickle it in malt vinegar, which I can't have because I'm gluten intolerant. So got that one anyway. Love this on salads. Love it next to other stuff on when I'm having an hot meal as well. Really nice. This one on the, um, you know, on those six value things. Baby plum tomatoes. I think they're about 59p or some of those. They might have been even cheaper than that. But I super love tomatoes at the moment. I go through fits and starts with them. Some days... I don't like them. You know, I go through weeks of not liking tomatoes at all. And then other times, I can't get enough of them. Don't know what that's about. Maybe I'm lacking in some at the point where I want to eat tomatoes all the time. But love those at the moment. 
Then I bought myself some broccoli. Absolute love broccoli. I think I bought frozen as well. But I got myself some fresh to start with. Were this on the thing? No, it wasn't. This one on the six things. But it was cheap as all right. So I got myself some broccoli. This were also on the um, the six things. Kiwi fruit. I haven't had kiwi fruit in ages. And I do like them. I tend to peel the whole thing and then bite it. That's how I eat them. Don't do the slicing thing. Peel all the outside off and then just bite it as a whole thing. So, love those. So, really nice. Happy I've got those. Got myself some onions. I've actually got one red onion left that I got at the co-op when I were, like, just called in at the end of work one day. But got these brown onions. These, I think, were on the six things. And I think these were 39p. So, great. I don't care whether they're red or white. I'll put white ones on a salad. That's the truth. Got myself some of this just to treat myself. I think I might have it for my tea. It's purple sprouting broccoli. Is it purple? A little bit. Right, it looks quite green still, but I love stuff like this. I have this chopped up and put into rice dishes, pasta dishes, all sorts of stuff. So very happy with that. I have to say, I didn't buy any tinned like beans or chickpeas or all, because I've still got loads in my cupboard. Don't think I'm not having any protein. I am. But I, like I say, they're all in my cupboard already. Needed loads of veg, though, and sauces. Got myself these wonky mixed peppers. These were cheaper than buying three of the other ones. And to be honest, you know, I'm not bothered. I'm not bothered what they're like. I don't care what they look like. Once they're chopped up and in your food, it doesn't matter, does it? So they were a bargain comp when compared to the other packs. So some had three in. And did the other ones have three in? But there were two different prices on the others as well. These had four in and they were cheaper than all the others. Put them down there. Got myself some more frozen sweet corn. Right, love this. I used to get tins of it, but now I've got a freezer. I can get these. It's only a tiny freezer, but I can get frozen. And I, I eat it and all sorts of stuff. This goes into rice dishes, pasta dishes curries you name it it's in there right because yeah just put an handful in it's extra protein that so really nice love that and i got myself some broccoli florets that are frozen as well i looked for collie because i prefer cauliflower frozen cauliflower to frozen broccoli but i couldn't find any there i just don't think they had it in so but i were really happy to get any at all I love having some frozen vegging because even I, what I do is I use my fresh first and then when I've run out of that, I start using frozen. It just seems to last forever, doesn't it? I've just used up some spinach that must have been in my freezer for six months. Not kidding you. And it were absolutely fine. It's been a couple of days. didn't poison me at all. Right, next up, I got these wonky mushrooms. Just I, I've been off mushrooms for the longest time. And then at the weekend, I made myself some um, mushrooms and garlic on toast. And I absolutely loved it. So when I saw these, I thought, yeah, I'm going to recreate that a few times. I just did them in my little milk pan. Slung them in with a bit of quick garlic, you know, that stuff that's in a jar. And then add um, mushrooms in. I needed to use up the mushrooms with the truth the other day. But honestly, one of the tastiest things I've had in ages. So very happy that I've got those. Might have that for me tea, actually. Right. Okay. Now, at my Aldi, they didn't have an old section of gluten-free. The only pasta I could get with this one. Wasn't that cheap either. But it's okay. I'm going to give it a go. Brown rice fuse like Now, I love the Tesco um, and the Asda and the Co-op um gluten-free pasta so you know if this isn't that nice i might mix it in with some of the stuff that i've already got so i can sort of mix them together and I, it won't just be this but anyway it's um it's all vegan i think i couldn't see how i couldn't eat in it anyway so got that one so that would like to say that was the only pasta i could get didn't buy any rice either because the other day I bought myself a massive bag of uh, just long grain rice. So I've got those. Well, I say that, I did buy these two. Right, now I bought this golden vegetable rice. This is for taking to work for my dinners, you know. Sometimes I just want to take some up quick. And we've got a microwave, so ready in two minutes. So I got that one. 
But I looked at the chicken one and there's no, no chicken in it. I can eat that. It's just all flavourings. So I don't know what they put in it that makes it taste of chicken, but it's definitely not chicken. Do you know what I mean? Right. But they were only cheap as well. And like I say, they're really quick to take in for your lunch. If you just can't be bothered making out, I'll grab one of those and that'll be it. Oh, I nearly dropped my bottles. Right. Bought this balsamic vinegar. Absolutely love this on salads. Right, this is balsamic vinegar of Moderna, right? It's so cheap at the Aldi, so cheap. Really love it. Like I say, I sling it on my salads and I ju it just gives them a nice dressing and I can eat this. You know, there's a lot of vinegars that I can't have, you know, anything with malt or barley in, but I can eat this one. Love it, but nearly broke it just then. And then the reason I nearly broke it is because I nearly smashed it against this. Right, which is infused olive oil. Thought I'd treat myself. It's quite gloopy. And now I don't use a lot of oil. And I definitely don't put this on salads. But I do like, sometimes, I like to fry up a bit of onion and pepper and things like that to mix in with my rice and pasta dishes. Or anything else, really. So, and I wanted to get this one because it's infused with garlic. And I love garlic. Absolutely love it. Right, love it a bit. So anything that'll get me a bit extra garlic in there, I'm very happy with. That bottle of oil will last me forever, right? It lasts me ages, ages and ages because I hardly ever use oil, you know, um, or butters or spreads and things like that. Sit there, look, I've nearly broken you once. Gonna grab me other bag. Goodness me, these are heavy. How I got them up them stairs, I've no idea. Right, bought myself some toilet tissue. This stuff I used to buy all the time when I had my other flat and before I moved to York, right? It lasts ages. It's really tightly wound, so there's no spring to it at all. So, and it's not expensive at all. I, I love this. But I have to say, I bought some kitchen roll that is softer than the toilet paper that I bought. But I do love it. It'll last me forever, this. It really will. There's six rolls on it. And it just goes on and on and on. You know what I mean? So, and I'm running, well, I'm not running low. I've still got packs of the stuff. But while I were there, I thought, oh yeah, pick yourself some up. Right, so talking about the kitchen roll is this. Got this blast one. Now they have smaller rolls and stuff, but I just like this one. It's one roll, right? So I've not got six or seven rolls, but it lasts a long time. I really like it. 100 extra large triple layer sheets. It is good stuff. It's well packed, not springy. So, it, you know, it, it, there's a lot on there. Really like that. And I like that I didn't have to buy an extra bag while I were there, you know, for loads and loads of kitchen roll. Okay, got myself some of this. Now I've never bought toilet, well, I probably have it back in the day, but I thought I'm gonna try this toilet gel. Normally I just sling a bit of bleach down there and like swish it around with me. You know, toilet brush and stuff, clean round with that. I don't tend to use toilet gels, but I thought I'm giving it a go. It were only cheap. Let me smell it. Don't smell that nice. But it's, you know, I'm sure it'll work. Very happy with it. I'm, I'm glad to try something different. It makes cleaning a bit more fun when you don't know the outcome. <laughs> you know what I mean, right? I don't know when the toilet's going to be cleaned by you. If you get it and you and you like it, please let me know. Then I seen these and I just didn't know the difference between them, so I had to buy one of each. If I can't tell what the difference is, I honestly have to get them. So these are, they were both the same price, but this one you get five and this one you get four. And this is traditional dishcloths. And this is knitted dishcloth. So we're going to open them and check out the difference. And then I'll know next time which ones I'm going for. Okay. Right. These are quite decent size to say you get five in the pack. So that's the traditional dishcloth. I do like a proper dishcloth. I like all these microfiber things, but I prefer a proper dishcloth. I'm just used to it, you know. And then what's this one? Is it only because you get a stripe in it? Or the bigger? No, they're not. Hang on. Right, so that's the one that you only get four of. It's rougher. It's sort of got more open weave on it and stripes on it. But I have to say, I think I prefer the traditional one, you know. We'll see how they work out. It's fractionally bigger. 
this one, this uh, knitted one. I'll see how they work out for me, but I'll reserve judgment until I've tried them. But I've got loads of dishcloths now. They'll last forever. Right, okay, so I bought myself some sauces and things. So I bought this chunky mushroom pasta sauce. I have to check them because some have got wheat in them and some have got animal products in them. So I had to check which one I could eat. I could have this and I could have, there's a bolognese sauce I've got as well. This were cheap. Just dropping on my toes and I might want my shoes on. And then I got this bolognese sauce, which were more expensive because it says speci specially selected pasta sauce. I bet they don't taste any different, you know. But I'm giving it a go anyway, so I'm happy with that one. Sit there now, see if I can balance it on some of it. And then I had to look through all curry sauces to see which one I could get. Now, I bought this one. This madras one I could eat. The normal jars of um, curry sauce that were this specially selected ones, all of the ones I could see had milk in them. But I, I can have that one. Right, this is okay. There were a couple that I could have in this. But there's only any point in me buying one of them because I have two tablespoons out of it, stick it in the fridge and then I eat the rest up sort of all, over time. So, you know, it might take me three days to get through it and then I end up throwing the last bit out. So I didn't want to buy two because that'll last me for ages. Like I say, I only put a couple of tablespoons in and that'll be it in the meal. So very happy with it anyway. Sit there. Right, okay, what else did I buy? Oh, I bought myself some coconut milk. It was cheap as all. But similarly, it's reduced fat as well. I've just realised. Great. That's good when you're trying to slim. What's red on it? Saturated fat. So it's still got quite a lot of saturated fat. But what I'll do, I mix it up. And then I put a couple of like tablespoons of that into some of it. And it lasts me over days. So yeah, happy with that. So between those three jars, they could last me nine days, you know, in meals. You know what I mean, right? Because I'm happy to keep them up for like once it's been open for another two days. So, great. Then I got myself some tin mushy peas. Right, now I like mixing these in with other veg to make myself a soup. Right, so what all I do is I cook some vegetables and then whack a tin of this in with it. It thickens it up and it tastes like a veggie soup. And it's a cheaper way than buying soups. And a lot of soups have got wheat in them to thicken them. Whereas if you have these mushy pea ones, you stick mushy peas in them, they don't have wheat in, it's just like mushed peas that thicken it up. So it's a way I can do soup and not end up with loads and loads of wheat getting into things. So I really like them, very happy with those. I'm running out of space on my floor. I've got piles out of the side of me here. Right, next up I bought these sliced carrots. I bought three tins of them, right. And I can't be bothered cooking carrots. It's one of the few vegetables that I cannot be bothered with. All the peeling and faffing and cooking for one person is just too much for me. So when I can get them cheap, I buy tinned carrots. Sometimes I like carrots on things, you know. And sometimes, if I'm honest, I'll come home, right? And I'll stick a jacket spud in or something really quick and then think, right, just put some carrots on with that. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. That'll be a nice meal. You've got some veggies in with it and stuff like that. So love those. Like the fact that, that, you know, they've got that easy opening as well. I do have a tin opener, but you know, it's nice if you don't have to use it, isn't it? What other sauces did I get? Oh, I got myself some mustard. Now, I bought two different types because they're very different. The only one I couldn't get because the only one that had got either wheat or barley in or something in were the English mustard. But I did get this whole grain mustard and I got some Dijon. I think out of the two, I prefer the Dijon one. But I'll put a bit of those on a salad sometimes. Or sometimes if I'm making, you know, I'll just have it on the side of something warm. You know, like um, mash or something like that. I'll put a bit of this on. Makes me feel like I'm having a Sunday dinner even though I'm not. You know what I mean? Right. Loved both of those. Bit sad that I couldn't get the English mustard because I do like English mustard as well. But I'm happy with those. Then I got myself some apple sauce because I love that as well. Love that and a bit of mustard on some it. Like I say, it makes me feel like I'm having a Sunday dinner. You know, because it mixes in, you get the sweet of that and then the sort of sharp taste and the mustard with whatever. Sometimes I'll put it on a salad as well. And sometimes I buy gluten-free stuffing 
mix a bit of that up and plonk that on the top of something as well so and these mix really nice with it so yummy love that you have to come up with all sorts of stuff when you're gluten free and you're having a plant-based diet also bought myself some olives absolutely love olives really really love them and i particularly like them on a salad or in a butty you know like if i make like a salad sandwich and i love putting some olives in it as well i chop them up and then just sling them in a bit subway-esque but my bread's like that big do you know what i mean it's tiny so um yeah but really like those very happy with them what's the red bit on these salt okay i'm happy to take the hit <laughs> i'll be eating one of those once i'm finished i so love them honestly now i've remembered i've got them i'll be eating a couple right okay then i bought some other stuff for my house now we used to buy these all the time these plugins from aldi i think they're great and this linen and freezer is my favorite one and when i go because i don't go very often i buy the whole thing and then i buy a refill as well so that when that's finished i've already got 100 sink to use i used to like to say i used to get these all the time when i had my other flat so um that one is obviously cheaper than that but um yeah i'm really really happy with them they smell lovely they really do they do um vanilla one as well but i find that a bit sickly for all the time it's nice sometimes but i prefer this freezer and lin linen and freezer one so for all time so i got those then i bought myself some hand gel just because i've run out believe it or not i'm actually out of hand gel so i got this one because it looked really nice it reminded me a bit of joe malone do you know what i mean right have i got my joe malone candle here okay at christmas my daughter bought me um a little set of well not a little set a beautiful set with perfume this candle and uh what was the other thing i got in it it might have been like a shower gel something like that this one is one of my favourite. This is English Rose. But can you see that? That's Joe Malone candle. This is Aldi. Do you see what I mean? Just reminds me of it. Which I think is what it's supposed to look like. With all numbers and everything as well. So I thought I'd give this a go. See what it's like. Ooh, something's dropping over on the floor. Let's have a go. See if it smells of anything other than hand sanitizer. I'll have to wait for it to off because it's just really burnt me as an oid. <laughs> right, you're on this little wash. Up it went. Wow, the back of my nose is tingling. Oh, it does. It smells really nice. After the initial hit of really strong alcohol, it actually smells lovely. I would definitely buy that again. Uh, they had it in three different ones, I think. Maybe just two. They definitely had number three as well. And I think they might have had number two that were in like a purple colour on it. But I went for this one just because I preferred it out of the ones that they had. And I'm really pleased I got that now. That is lovely. For a hand sanitizer, great. I'll be taking that with me in my handbag. Right, and then I bought a couple of other things. I bought a couple of candles. Ooh, falling over. So I bought this one, which is, I think, supposed to look like a Yankee candle, isn't it? in vanilla frosting i've had these before they smell gorgeous oh it's so nice it's really really lovely oh i love it absolutely love it really like that one i'm running my candles are really getting low i bought myself a couple from Poundland the other day that were horrible right they're going back i don't care if i only paid a pound for them i'm not keeping stuff that smells like fly spray but um so because of that i'm running really low on candles believe it or not for however many i buy but i also saw this one right which i take it is from the christmas collection in velvety rose and i just couldn't not have it i know it's got a red glass thing but at least it's pretty oh it does smell it smells gorgeous it smells sort of vaguely of the something oud that you do get from joe malone it's really really pretty right i love that not bothered that it's in red i'll still burn it you could use these for valentine's as well is that what they're for oh it might be it might not be from christmas it might be that they've got all these little arts on them 
your daft lumpkin. <laughs> Me thinking it's just left over from Christmas. No, it's not. I think it's for Valentine's Day. So really nice. I love it. I like both of those for different reasons. That one's a bit more subtle and that one's a bit more sickly, but I love them. Absolutely love them. I'm going to throw these on here. So that's all my things from Aldi. I will be going to Lidl's in near future to get myself another shop. Right, now I know, now I've remembered that they are in fact a thing. I know they're not connected or all, but in my mind, those two sit absolutely together. You know, I, I know about them um, because of each other. There's another reason I know about them. My ex used to work for one of them. Right, oh, yeah. But that's by the by, okay. So that's all my stuff anyway, and I've had a really good time showing you. But that's everything for today. If you like this video, please give us a like. It really helps us out. And if you like this kind of content, you might want to consider subscribing. I've left all my contact details in the description box, just in case you want to contact me for any reason. But thank you very much for taking a few moments out of your day to spend with me. 